Hey guys, it's Andrew at night, and today I'm going to show you how to make this Slatch UI on your Android phone or tablet. Uh, this is running on my Nexus 7, and I'm going to first list all the things you need to make this. And the first thing you need are these image files, and there'll be a link to those in the description. You just want to download those and drop them onto your device. Second thing you need is Tile Launcher, which is the launcher you're going to be using um, sort of as the base for this. And the third thing you're going to need is a widget called Desktop Visualizer. This basically lets you set pictures, which is effectively what these tiles are, and then assign um, actions to them. So, for example, this one goes straight into the Kindle application. Or, for a bit of variety, this application one here opens up Folder Organizer, which is the last application you're going to need, which just lets you actually view all your applications um, in one place straight from the launcher as you can't use the launcher's, um, launcher's um, application drawer at the moment when attached to a widget which would be a lovely feature I'd love to see that implemented in the future but for now you need to use folder organizer and there's a light version of that as well as a paid version so again I'll put links to all those in the description and I'll list them down because I know I have a bit of an accent I speak quite quickly some people don't uh, find me the easiest person to understand on YouTube so um, that should make it just a little bit simpler for you all and the first thing you need to do is install the launcher and you're going to want to go into the settings and general you can leave alone desktop you want to go scroll style and you need to change it to vertical it should be horizontal by default then the screen orientation you want to set to portrait the wallpaper behavior you can pretty much leave alone but i suggest just turning it to static and again background gradient just to leave that disabled next thing is the workspace option and you want to make launch bar visibility to hide only one screen and that basically gets rid of this thing here which has sort of a tab at the top and the option to open your applications you want to get rid of that and to do that oh go back to the launcher so to do that you want to hide only I'm sorry, hide with only one screen. You want to change the number of screens to one. Uh, I think the default is two. Uh, leave the default screen as number one. You then want to extend both of these to the maximum. Um, this does change slightly depending on your device, but generally it tends to be best um, if you've got the most um, sort of real estate to work with. Again, as I said in my other video about this, I recommend doing this on a tablet because you do have more space, whereas on my One X Plus, um, the grid at the bottom of applications is kind of limited. Um, the gap size you want to put to four pixels which again I think may be the default and then you just want to go back to your launcher. So now you should have a completely blank launcher and I'm going to show you how to add these tiles. I've removed the top one, I've left the other ones because you don't need to see me add every single one. You should get the idea if I just show you one. So you want to hold down on an empty bit of the launcher and hit open draw. You then want to tab across to your widget section and go over to the desktop visualizer widget which you've installed and you want the four by one option and you want to just hold that and drop it on to the launcher you then want to hold it again and this option sort of bubble at the top should pop up you want to drag it and extend it across so that it fills um, the home screen you should be able to get a decent amount of these and obviously if you want more tiles you just have less applications at the bottom you can drop more on so you do that then you tap it and then the one I'm going to use is the Spotify one. So you need to have all these images in your gallery somewhere and you just choose it. And then you want to go select action. I'm going to choose launch application. And I'm going to scroll down to Spotify, which is down here. You then want to hit clear, which just gets rid of any um, text labeling because you've already got the text in the image. You then want to go to touch effect and change that to none, just so it doesn't um, highlight itself when you tap on it. It makes the whole thing just look a little bit cleaner. And hit OK. Hit OK and it will create the widget there. Now, that's the same um, process for the Spotify one, the Books one and the Internet one. Um, this is a Firefox logo, but I've got it set to open Chrome. You can choose um, any browser you want, obviously. Um, the only different one is for applications. And I'm just going to delete this and show you how to do add it again so same process as before open the drawer go to widgets scroll across drop that in there and then resize it 
Now, with this one, it's slightly different because you're not opening an application, you're doing an action. So tap on it again and hit select icon. And I want the application one. And then select action, you want to go to other and scroll to folder organizer and you want folder link and then what you want to choose is a folder where you've got everything in and now for me I think that's my applications one again hit clear change the touch tone to none and then hit OK now when I open it you can see it opens that folder and you can actually edit this folder so for example there is a games tile so you can just have your games and um, you can hide the applications you don't want to see um, in this as well through the folder organizer so when you've done that you want to scroll to the bottom and here you can choose any applications you want you need to hold down a blank bit of the launcher hit open draw and um, we're just going to add calculator just for the hell of it so you drop that in there and then you want to hold down on it hit configure at the top and then delete the label you can also change the background color however the background colors they choose tend to work quite well with the colors of the icons so um, i suggest just leaving that as it is hit save and there you go, you've got a nice calculator icon at the bottom. These you can actually remove and you can also resize them. Um, I've only got it like this just because it means you can fit the maximum amount on, but it can look quite cool if you have certain ones of different sizes. Um, for example, I've just stretched that hexagon game down there and it just gives it a little bit more variety and I think it looks like visually quite pleasing, but it does of course mean you can't fit as much um, on your home screen. And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, if you've got any suggestions of how I can make this any better, um, please, pi please PM me or comment. Um, if you find this helpful, please like it. Also, please subscribe if you haven't seen me before and you're enjoying um, enjoying what you've seen. And um, post a video response if you um, if you uh, change the tiles around, if you make a version that looks slightly different to mine. And just have fun with it, guys. And I hope you guys do like it because I really like this launcher. It's really functional. I think it's great for a tablet because it just sort of chucks your content straight towards you. I've got my music, my books, the internet. Those are the three things I mainly use this for. And then at the bottom, I've got my games. So, um, yeah, I think it's a really nice launcher, guys. Um, big um, thumbs up to the guy who made Tile Launcher. Hope he had some more things in the future. For example, I'd love to be able to configure Desktop Visualizer to open to their um, sort of stock applications drawer. That'd be really cool. Um, but for now, I really can't fault it. It's a great idea. I love the fact it's vertically scrolling. And it, um, it's pretty quick. So um, good luck to you guys setting this up. If you've got any questions, as I said, um, don't hesitate to ask. And I'll see you guys next time. Ta-ra.